I'm Dr. Kelly Lyons. I'm a Research Associate Professor of Neurology and Director of Research and Education for the Parkinson's Disease and Movement Disorder Center at the University of Kansas Medical Center. I am also the President of the International Essential Tremor Foundation. Today I'm going to provide you with an update on current research on essential tremor. The cause of essential tremor is currently unknown, so identifying that cause is a major research focus to help us move closer to finding the cure. While many different types of studies are underway in the investigation of essential tremor's origins, I'm going to discuss three research approaches in particular. Neuropathological studies examine the brains of people who had essential tremor to look for physical changes or abnormalities in the brain related to the disorder. Genetic studies examine whether essential tremor is inherited, and if so, what particular genes lead to the development of essential tremor. Environmental studies determine whether essential tremor is related to exposure to environmental toxins or other substances in the environment. Neuropathological studies have reported inconsistent results. Several studies have failed to identify any abnormalities in the brains of people with essential tremor. Other studies have reported abnormalities in a part of the brain called the cerebellum and structures connected to the cerebellum, such as the inferior olive. The cerebellum primarily controls muscle coordination and movement. Nerve cells in the cerebellum, called Purkinje cells, have been shown in some studies to be fewer in number for people who had essential tremor. Other studies have suggested changes in the neurotransmitters, or brain chemicals, GABA and norepinephrine. To date, definitive neuropathological changes in the brains of persons who had essential tremor have not been confirmed. The majority of persons with essential tremor report a family history of the disorder. Essential tremor is an autosomal dominant disorder, which means that there is a 50% chance of a parent with essential tremor having a child with essential tremor. While several genes have been identified in specific families with essential tremor, none of these genes account for the majority of persons with essential tremor and further genetic studies are necessary. The slide shows specific genes that have been identified in some families with essential tremor. The Lingo1 gene is the most recently identified and may be responsible for up to 5% of all essential tremor cases, but this is still a very low percentage of the overall incidence of essential tremor in the general population and shows the need for more research if we are to identify a common genetic cause for essential tremor in the general public. Although the majority of essential tremor patients do have a family history of essential tremor, it's possible that toxins or other substances in the environment may be involved in the development of essential tremor. Currently, no definitive environmental toxins or environmental risk factors have been identified. Substances that have been studied include lead, iron, pesticides, herbicides, and harmane. Another important area of research is the identification or development of new treatment options for essential tremor. Unfortunately, the current pharmacologic treatments are only effective in about 50% of patients, and in most cases they do not completely suppress tremor. Studies have shown that many essential tremor patients display a significant reduction in tremor after drinking alcohol. However, over time, greater amounts of alcohol may be required for the same level of tremor relief. The occasional responsible use of alcohol may be recommended to reduce tremor, particularly in high-stress situations, during events, and so on. However, given the potential for intoxication or alcoholism, this is not appropriate as a chronic treatment option for essential tremor. Alcohol can even lead to the emergence of a rebound tremor, an even stronger tremor brought on by excessive drinking. Because of the initial effectiveness of alcohol, researchers have looked for alternate forms of alcohol that can produce the benefits without the negative side effects. One octanol is currently under investigation for the treatment of essential tremor. Studies have shown that one octanol leads to a significant reduction in tremor for up to 90 minutes. Subjects showed no signs of intoxication or other significant side effects. Studies are currently examining different formulations of 1-octanol to produce longer periods of tremor reduction. 1-octanol is converted in the body to octanoic acid. Researchers are examining whether a single dose of octanoic acid might be used as a safe and effective treatment option. 
I should emphasize that one octanol and octanoic acid are investigational treatments only and should not be tried outside of the official ongoing studies being conducted at the National Institutes of Health in Bethesda, Maryland. Other medications being studied for essential tremor include sodium oxabate, which is also known under the brand name Zyrum and GHB. This drug is currently used to treat severe forms of narcolepsy, but initial studies have shown an improvement in both postural and kinetic tremor. T2000 is a barbiturate that has also been shown in early studies to improve tremor in some essential tremor patients. AST915 is a new drug that shows early promise. Further studies of all of these compounds are necessary before they can be recommended for the treatment of essential tremor. In addition to investigating pharmaceutical treatments, researchers are also studying a new deep brain stimulation, or DBS, device. Another deep brain stimulation device is already approved by the FDA for the treatment of tremor and has been shown to be very effective in controlling tremor in the majority of essential tremor patients undergoing the treatment. This study of a new DBS device is being conducted at several sites in the United States, and researchers are actively enrolling persons with medication-resistant essential tremor. Approximately 160 patients will be implanted with the investigational Libra DBS system. The DBS lead will be implanted in a part of the brain called the ventral intermediate nucleus of the thalamus, which is the brain site that has been previously shown to be effective for essential tremor when stimulated. In this study, the device can be implanted on either one side or both sides of the brain as determined to be medically necessary. You can help to move essential tremor research forward in several ways. People with essential tremor can volunteer to participate in research studies. You can also help to raise funds or provide support to the International Essential Tremor Foundation to fund new research projects. The International Essential Tremor Foundation grant program provides funding to researchers studying various aspects of essential tremor. You can become a member of the International Essential Tremor Foundation and join a support group. This gives you access to educational materials and publications, notifications of research studies in your area, and up-to-date information on current research in essential tremor. Most importantly, you can increase awareness of essential tremor. A strong, unified voice will lead to more research, new treatments, and the eventual cure for essential tremor. I encourage you to watch other topics in our educational series. Thank you for your time and attention.